three, two, one. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to episode three, where we're gonna be talking about pilots this week. We're gonna change up the format just a little bit, just to let you know, for these videos, we wanna show more uh, themes of television, like uh, pilots, or shows that only last one season, or you watch certain television shows, whether it's on a TV, actual TV, or your iPhone or iPad, cable, or on Netflix, or on Hulu, and, and stuff, stuff like that. So, what makes a good pilot? We both have varying opinions on what that means. A pilot really introduces you to uh, the characters, the world. If there's a mystery, it kind of brings that in. It asks you the questions. It's supposed to draw you in and make you want to come back. I personally take pilots with a grain of salt. They can be good indicators of what the show will be like, and sometimes they really don't match what the show ends up being. What I want from a pilot is something that comes out with a bang, something that gets me excited, gives me chills by the end of it, and really makes me want to keep watching. Usually if I don't get chills from a pilot, I usually skip it. The one example that we wanted to talk about is Glee. I personally really loved the pilot of Glee. I watched it. Loved it. I was hooked from the moment they started singing Don't Stop Believing. Now the show, not really as exciting, not as good, definitely has declined and not something that I'm as excited about as I was in the pilot. So one show that I think has a great pilot but doesn't really live up to it is The Newsroom by Aaron Sorkin. The Newsroom pilot is one of the best. It comes out with a, a Sorkin heavy <laughs> monologue. Jeff Daniels saying how America should could be a lot better than it is. Uh, I feel like it's one of those things that you don't really want to hear, especially as an American, but it's kind of this thing, it's one of those things that you need to hear, saying how America can be better. It really makes you believe that it could, and so you really want to go on this journey with these newscasters and seeing how they can tell the news and inform Americans what needs to be informed. Final example is actually Grey's Anatomy. It's a show that I actually started out loving. I watched the pilot, totally fell in love with all the characters, wanted to see them every week and what they were gonna be going through. Now, I actually don't watch the show anymore. Totally stopped, cold turkey, like fifth season. Couldn't hang anymore, so not as good as the pilot, but I really loved that pilot and all those characters they introduced. And now on the flip side, we have bad pilots with good shows. A good example for me is Parks and Rec. The pilot, I think, is really bad. I didn't I didn't laugh. I didn't care about the characters. I wanted to so bad because I love Amy Poehler so much coming off the Saturday Night Live. I wanted her to succeed. I watched the first episode and I stopped watching it. I thought it was just The Office in the Woods with Amy Poehler. <laughs> kind of was. Uh, but now it has evolved into a great show that I watch every day. My example of a really bad pilot and a really great show is Raising Hope. I watched the pilot, was not impressed at all, didn't laugh. I actually was kind of angry that I had to watch it. A few weeks later, I ended up watching another episode and it was hilarious. It's it's actually one of my favorite sitcoms that have come out in a long time. Me too. It's really funny and I'm really glad that it had the ability to grow and develop into a really funny show. The rare shows that have good pilots and actually stay good. For me, the only example that I can think of is Breaking Bad. I love the pilot, and this show has gone above and beyond what the pilot has shown to be a great show and a phenomenon that it has become. You don't think that it can get any darker with Walter White, but it just gets darker and darker and darker. Yeah. And a little lighter. <laughs> and and darker. darker. My closest example to a good pilot and a good TV show is Pushing Daisies. I loved the pilot, totally fell in love with all the characters, and the first season was amazing. Unfortunately, it was during the writer's strike in 2007, so it got cut short, and I really feel like that affected the whole show. Second season was still good, I really enjoyed it, but you could tell they had suffered a little bit. Thanks guys for watching this episode. Please don't forget to leave a comment down below saying, what are your favorite pilots? And be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Sign off. We're freaking out. <laughs> We're losing our marbles. Oh my god. Here.